everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these pop of color beanies. Basically, I am using a neutral colored worsted weighted yarn and then a small amount of variegated yarn. So today I'm going to be making it with this color variegated yarn. This is only 45 yards. So if you have like leftover variegated yarns, um, this is the perfect project for it. And then for the main color, I will be using a cream color. Both of these are worsted weight. I'm using a J or a 6.0 millimeter hook. So we're gonna start with our neutral color or our main color and start with the brim. So start with a slip knot, chain up 11. And now we're gonna do single crochets all the way across. So starting in that second chain from the hook, go ahead and make single crochets all the way across your beginning chain. And then when you get to the end, you should have 10 single crochets total. So there I have 10 single crochets. So we're going to be starting with the brim. So this is going to be the height of the brim. If you want a smaller brim or even a larger brim, all you have to do is change the beginning number of chains. So for our second row, we are going to single crochet in the back loop only. So I chained up one to start the row. And now I am just making single crochets in the back loop. So here is that next stitch and you can see it makes little V's. We're only doing it in that back half of the stitch. So that's what it means to single crochet in the back loop only. chain one, turn your work, and we are just continuing to do that until we have a total of 50 rows. So we're just going to crochet in the back loops only, turn our work, and continue to make these rows until we have a total of 50 rows. So here I have 50 rows for my brim, and I want to show you an easy way to count your rows. So here's my first row, and then you see this ridge, and then there's another row after the ridge. So basically every time you see this ridge, there is a row on either side of it. So I end up just counting the ridges in twos, since we know that there is a row on either side of that raised um, ridge there. So I just count it as two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and so on and so forth. And then um, for this particular pattern, we need 50. So once you have 50 rows, we are going to join the last and the first row together to complete our brim for the first section of the hat. So chain up one, flip up your brim until you have the last row. Make sure it's not twisted, that everything is laying flat together. And then we are going to take the one side of the stitch that is closest to us. The first stitch is here. So we're gonna take that front loop only and then connect it to the first stitch of the last row. And then we are just going to single crochet together all the way across. So take that front loop only, and then through that second stitch on the back, 
and just make sure everything is lined up and single crochet your way across to join the two sides together. Okay, now that it's joined, I prefer to have this seam on the inside, so I actually will flip it so then that seam is facing on the inside, and now this is the outside of my hat, and you don't see that seam. So now we are going to start working the hat upwards on onto the side of these rows that we just did to complete the hat. So this end I'm just going to crochet over. So chain up one and we are going to make half double crochets all the way around evenly and we know that between these two ridges there are two rows in between there so we are going to half double crochet on each side of the row and this helps you as a guide knowing that you will need two stitches in between these ridges. So before this ridge here's a row so I'm going to crochet over here. You can see that this will be the first stitch and it's just one loop. It's not a double loop and it's better to crochet into a double loop like this but when you can't you just want to go underneath it because if you go up here and you single crochet like that you can see that you'll be able to see that hole and it won't be um, as nice so you want to go under here and it seems kind of a stretch to go all the way under here but it just makes the finish nicer so here are two of the ridges I'm gonna crochet here half double crochets and then here but since it's only one loop I'm gonna go underneath So you don't see those like gaps as if you would um, just crochet into one of these loops here. So I use that as a guide. I kind of um, crochet into the same places between these two bars. So you could see this here. I'll crochet there. And then I'll crochet down into here. So those are the two spaces I crochet in between those uh, ridges since we want to have two stitches in between those two ridges since we are making one stitch on the side of each single crochet row. So I'm just going to continue to half double crochet all the way around evenly and since we had 50 rows for the brim we should end up with 50 stitches around. So I went all the way around and you can see there are no like gaps or pulling around. So I went ahead and went around and counted. So I have 50 and it kind of seems like I should put a stitch here but since I have 50 I'm just gonna go ahead and join to the first stitch. So this is the first row of the body of the hat. For the second row we are going to chain up one and we are just going to half double crochet all the way around 
one in each stitch until we get to the beginning of the round. So go ahead and half double crochet all the way around and then I'll meet you back here and then we will start to incorporate our second color. So here I am at the end of the round. I'm gonna join to that first half double crochet. Those chain ones in the beginning will not count as a stitch. So I have my second color all ready to go. Again, this second color, uh, you only need around 45 yards and it should be the same um, weight. So I'm using a worsted weight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my yarn through that loop and then with the tail of that first color I'm just going to pull it tight and I'm going to tie my second color around my first color. I'm just going to knot it twice. Okay and I'm not going to cut off my first color uh, we're just going to carry the yarns up the inside of the hat so we don't have to weave in any ends. So with the second color, I'm going to chain up one. I'm going to work over this tail. I'm going to put the first color in the back. And I'm not going to crochet over it. I'm just going to leave it hang as if it isn't attached. So for the rows, when we are working with our second color, we want to work in between the stitches or in between the posts. So here I just chain up one. This would be our first stitch here, but we're going to work in between. So we're going to go down in between and make a half double crochet. Okay, so in between the stitches, we will be making half double crochets. So not in the stitch, but in between the stitches. So go ahead and work half double crochets in between the stitches in the previous row all the way around. And you should end up with 50 since we, are incre we aren't increasing or decreasing, so everything should be 50 stitches all the way around. So here I just finished up that row, which is the third row. And I'm just going to join to that first stitch. And now we are going to switch to our main collar again. So I'm just gonna pick it up loop it in, take the colored yarn, pull it tight, and I'm just gonna start working with it and leaving this second color behind just like we did for this one when we worked on the last row. So chain up one, and for the neutral color, we are going to make half double crochets all the way around. So for the first color, we are working in the actual stitches, and then for the variegated yarn or the colored yarn, we are working in between the stitches. Okay, so this row with the neutral colored yarn with our main color, we are working into the actual stitches. And we are just going to continue to alternate back and forth between these two colors carrying up the side on the inside of the hat 
And then for the colored, for the second color, we will be working in between the posts. And then for our first main color, we will be working in the half double crochets. So go ahead and continue to alternate back and forth until you have 14 rows total, including these uh, first two rows that we did. So one, two, three, four. Keep going until you have 14 rows and your 14th row should end with your main color. So I finished 14 rows. So the main color was half double crochet um, all the way around in each stitch. And then the second color was half double crocheting around, but in between um, the stitches in the previous row. So I have 14 rows from uh, that first row we did on the brim all the way up to the top. I ended with that main color. I switched back to my second color already. And to finish up the hat, we are going to do a few rows of decreasing to shape the top of the hat. So with our second color, we're still gonna crochet in between the stitches. So half double crochet in the next three, or should I say in between the next three. So there I have three, and then we are going to decrease by half double crocheting two together. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the second space, pull up a loop. You should have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all of those loops. And that is the pattern we are going to continue around with. So half double crochet into the next three. And then half double crochet two together. And again, these are in between the stitches. One, two, three, and then half double crochet two together. So go ahead and continue this pattern all the way around. If you like to count your stitches, this row will give you 40 stitches. So here I ended with a half double crochet two together. I have 40 stitches around. We're gonna join to my first stitch change to my other color, chain up one, and then in this row we are going to work half double crochets into the actual stitches in the first two. So one, two, and then half double crochet two together. So two half double crochets, and then half double crochet two together. So we're gonna follow that pattern all the way around, two half double crochet, and then half double crochet two together. For this round, we will end up with 30 stitches. Okay, so I'm done with that row. I joined to the first stitch. I'm gonna change my colors chain up one and then again since we are using the second color we will be working in between the stitches so we will do one half double crochet and then half double crochet two together so that is the pattern we will be working on this on this row so one half double crochet and then half double crochet two together. So 
So go ahead and crochet all the way around, one half double crochet, and then half double crochet two together. So I just finished that round, and this is actually going to be the last round we will be using the second color. So after switching to this first color, I'm going to trim it off and then tie it to that first color just like I did in the beginning. And then this will be the last row of the hat. So chain up one. And then we are just going to half double crochet two together in each of the stitches around. And I'm just working over that tail so I don't have to weave it in later. So it's gonna get smaller. And then join to that first stitch chain to fasten off and for that last row you should have only 10 stitches so you still have a little bit of a gap on the top so you will need a yarn needle we are just going to weave in and out of the top stitches. And then pull tight. And then I will go underneath a stitch wrap my yarn around twice the yarn in between the needle and then pull it through and that creates a nice knot i'll go down the center and then weave everything in on the inside So that is how you make the pop of color beanie. You could add a pom-pom if you like for a little extra detail, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks so much for watching.